And I said, look guys, if we don't get our act together now, this sport is going to die. I met these two gentlemen, all blazer and tie and you know. They said, look, we run the governing body of rugby in India. Uh, I had been involved with rugby for the last 25 years till then and I was quite surprised to meet two people who, who were running the sport in India and I'd never met them. So I just asked them the question, I said, yeah, so how, how, how big is your squad? And he said, 13, 11 plus 2. And, and you know, that kind of shook me. So that's when we actually woke up and, and, and started thinking how to form a, a national body. India uh, played on the international circuit for the very first time in 1998. Uh, we participated in the Asian Championships in Singapore. I was lucky to make the squad, uh, was one of the youngest players on the team uh, and had the honour of playing alongside uh, Dad who was captaining the first uh, Indian team to that competition. One good thing that, that happened there was that we did not come off the field with people thinking that we didn't know how to play the game. It's not a matter that there was a side which was far better prepared than us and you know, who put up those kind of scores. We lost 85-0, <laughs> but uh, it was a fantastic experience nonetheless. I mean, we've come a long way since then. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I think experiences like that, that help us. Uh, achieve something more. From 1998 to, to 2003, 2004, we played several matches. We came close to beating teams and from 94 onwards, we were right there. We were beating teams. There was a time, I think, China, we beat 98 points or something. We beat Pakistan 95 points. We beat Malaysia. It took a bit of a couple of years for us to actually uh, get to the similar level as what uh, Asian rugby was. Now, I think we are competitive with uh, quite a few of the countries within Asia. Moving down in the future, I think we'd be knocking on the, the higher ranked teams, those 